Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is Wednesday today. Middle of another week, and um, it's pretty darn chilly out there. But it's going to be a beautiful day, Leather Bag Lady Weather Report. 23 degrees today. So, not sure if I'll have any time for any deck time, but uh, got lots going on today, which I will tell you about after the bag. So, this bag I was not sure I was going to list. Uh, first of all, because it's a bit of a bulky uh, bag to ship. And second of all, because it's not completely leather. But you know what? It's been staring at me for a couple of weeks now. And I really like it. So I figured, you know what? Somebody else out there might like it too. It is a real old school, satchel style business bag. School bag, book bag, whatever you want to call it. So, this bag is not leather. It is a vinyl offering. It has a main compartment with this little strap here. Another compartment here. A zippered compartment here. And that is it. I really like the way it has the extender um, closures here so you can you know make it tight and then loosen it loosen it depending on how much you've got in there um, it is going to extend a fair bit I wouldn't overload it because it is vintage and it is vinyl but everything is intact the corners are metal and they have some color loss on them if you really really wanted to some uh, model paint or a little bit of uh, what's that spray stuff but that would be really difficult to apply just a little uh, pot of modelers uh, paint would fix that up the this is all beautiful saddle grade saddle grade leather these straps would you do them up uh, I'm not sure not sure if I would do them up. I think they're more, for me, they would be more of an aesthetic. So that's it on the biggest. So you've got quite a bit of room here. Here's more of this metal. Yeah, that one's got all of its color on it. It's just a really interesting looking bag. Nice uh, top handle here. No crossbody strap. Um, I think this one will be very will be quite difficult to wear crossbody because it's so stiff. So I'm not that concerned that it doesn't have a crossbody um, strap to it. So that is today's listing. I've listed it as a 70s. It really kind of screams 70s to me. Uh, the key, unfortunately, is not with it. This is uh, really quite uh, intense hardware here so it's been very well made and no maker's brand or anything like that there is a crown what does it say new crown little stamp on this plate here but i googled it and it's got nothing to do with the bag so all that's coming up is crown royal velvet bags for the whiskey or rye or whatever it is so so that's your bag for today. Shipping will be a little steep on that guy, but I've priced it accordingly because it isn't all leather. Um, so hopefully somebody will see that and think, I'd like to go to work with something looking a little different uh, these days. So there you go. So today is kind of a big day that happened without really knowing it was going to happen. Um, got my car back last night. Uh, the little one still isn't starting, so I'm going to try and boost it. And hopefully, hopefully it's just a battery. I have a feeling it's not. So it wasn't quite as expensive as I thought. Only a couple of hundred bucks less than I thought. But you know what? Hey, anything. I'll probably need to spend that couple of hundred bucks plus on the little car now to get it running. My own fault, owning two cars, but I really haven't spent any money on them other than maintenance for a couple of years now. So, swings and roundabouts, as my dad says, swings and roundabouts. 
So I am picking Sarah up today at 1030 and bringing her back to Hamilton where I will pick my son up and we're both going for lunch with Pius. My kids have not met Pius. Um, just the way it's it goes, uh, they're 23 and 25 soon to be. Harry will be 25 next month. Sarah will be 24 in March. Um, so they do their own thing. I don't see them very often at all. Sarah's been in and out of jobs. Harry's been in and out of jobs. So, um, you know, and neither of them are driving right now. So they really, I've just kind of left them to do their own thing. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, Pius and I were going to, be a permanent thing um, before I started introducing family and all that kind of stuff. So he's met quite a few people now, so it's important that he meets the kids. And I want him to meet them before Thanksgiving. I just think that's a bit uncomfortable to be meeting people for the first time at such a big family event, albeit that uh, his daughter will be joining us and her husband and baby. So they will all be meeting for the first time, but they won't probably be in each other's company very often so so it's all very exciting I'm not sure how they are feeling about it my feeling is is they probably don't give a shit but um you never know they may have an opinion they may not so I haven't introduced them to too many people over the years but uh this one's important so we're gonna get that over with today we're going to the good old two cougars I love that place and we'll have kind of a brunch lunch I guess and that's that did a workout this morning uh wasn't sure what I wanted to do because my legs are really sore and my feet are sore from walking home from the mechanic yesterday um I woke up just before Pius's alarm this morning so I was up probably 4 a.m whatever and uh when he got up I was wide awake, so I didn't get back to sleep, and I went downstairs to see him off, and I barely could make it down the four steps from one level to the other. My feet, I'm like, this getting old is bullshit. It's getting old is bullshit, people. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. We say that all the time. That's a favorite saying of, for both of us. I've got it on signs all over the house. I've got a mug that says it. So uh, there we go. So it'll be an interesting um, afternoon. I'll take the kids back up to their dads and then uh, carry on with my day after that. Oh, and I have a hair appointment at 3 o'clock. Oh, my goodness me. Today is just going to be the day that never happened. So um, anyway, that is it for me today. Hopefully you have a wonderful Wednesday. If you're in my part of the world, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day. There's not that many to come. So um, as there's not a cloud in the sky. It's absolutely gorgeous. So with that, I'll sign off and hopefully speak to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.